14. Yeah. Good. Yeah, very good. So like a, a pigmented patch or kind of pigmented grayish to bluish patch in the shoulder for Nevis of Ito and then around the eye cheek area for Nevis of Ota. Uh, and then I think I think you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's if they're present since childhood. And then if they're acquired, it's what Nevis of Sun and Nevis of Hori. Is that am I right about that? Got to be eponyms for everything. OK. Uh, so, you know, but the, I, I think that as a broad group, these are, these are dermal melanocytosis, scattered, pigmented, spindled or dendritic melanocytes with a very low cellularity in the dermis. It's the same thing we see on the lower back of children, what was formerly called Mongolian spot, but uh, dermal melanocytosis is the, I think the more proper uh, current usage for that. But this is in that same category of dermal melanocytosis. It's just the difference is based on the site. Yeah, if you had a small lesion of it, you could wonder, is it a really subtle blue nevus? And again, the, I like that you brought up, Raheel, the, the lack of the sclerotic stroma and also the clinical to tell that apart. The other thing that, that you could think about here is, is this just melanin pigment incontinence, right? So uh, it'd be really hard if you just had a small shave of that to tell. Um, one thing is that these are a little bit more spindled and have like pigment in the elongated cytoplasm. I find that helpful for any dermal melanocytosis or even blue nevus. Elongated cytoplasm with fine, delicate melanin pigment, that's pretty good. Like that cell probably is a melanocyte, not a melanophage. And, and that's a good, that type of cell we usually see in blue nevi and also in dermal melanocytosis, including nevus of Oda and Ito. And the other thing you could do is actually melanocytic marker, like MART1, with a, you would want to use a red chromogen here because it'd be hard to interpret otherwise, or, or SOX10 to prove that these are actually melanocytes rather than melanophages. I mean, there will be melanophages here, but you want to prove that there's scattered melanocytes in the dermis to prove that that's what's going on here. So. These can be, this one's got a lot of pigment. I've seen ones that are much more subtle and sparse than this. And you have to really kind of hunt around and know that what they're looking for clinically sometimes to arrive at the diagnosis.